here we have a Smith Medical syringe pump which came in for broken FFC connector as you can see in both ends FFC connectors are damaged I already disassembled the motherboard here and as you can see here is also FFC, FFC connectors is damaged so let's see under the microscope and fix this one and I remove the bus cable and as you can see one side is fine but another side is not good so we should change this cable also and here fully damaged FFC connector so let's see how to fix okay so <clears throat> here is the FFC connector let's apply the flux always use the flux and uh, I'm not using hot air uh, this time um, because I don't want to burn the nearby components so I just want to uh, leave it with the soldering iron and I'm applying more lead here then only it will be uh, easier to remove and it is a 16 pin FFC connector and let's heat it up it will come up easily see now let's prepare the board and uh, we can remove the excess lead by using soldering wick so before that i need to apply the flux again more flux more output so that will be the case here so let's apply the salt wick here and uh, remove the excess lead and clean it well with alcohol wipe smooth and shine now let's do the same procedure for the main board and uh, here also the same applying the flux and uh, desoldering it with soldering iron because you can see the lot of resistors here and we can't heat it from the back side of uh, board because of a uh, lot of components was there so uh, I couldn't able to apply the heat from the back side uh, before one video I told you that I can uh, we can uh, we can apply the heat from the back side of the board and remove the connector from the from the front side but here in this case I can't remove because uh, there's a lot of components is there and outside uh, in other side so I'm just removing uh, like this uh, but uh, you know it will work every time if you have enough experience and uh, if you handled more than uh, more than 200 or 300 boards uh, by your own so uh, in here the same procedures and uh, the output is the same now let's connect the FFC connector we have a new one the same connector 16 pin and uh, you know uh, as you can see it is the same type of FFC connector here so I just need to resolder it properly and if we resoldered it uh, properly to its place it will work so if you don't have any confidence don't do that I'm always telling you because uh, you may end up with uh, the broken uh, broken PCB tracks so it will be very difficult to recover uh, recover the PCB tracks and uh, I'm not saying that it is not possible but it will be more difficult to you uh, to to fix that board so uh, now applying flux and just touch it with the soldering iron that will be 
more enough sufficient uh, to uh, to join the FFC connector back into the place. I'm fast forwarding the video because of uh, the length. I'm considering the length of the video. It is uh, it is very high and uh, so I have to. And okay, uh, I'm telling you, uh, if you have any bridge like this. Uh, you you don't get panic just uh, go with uh, uh, this thing the solder wick and uh, flux it will help you like this you can remove the bridge no matter what but you can easily remove the bridge and make sure every connections make a perfect joint uh, to the PCB track always check whether uh, the pin is fine or not uh, because you know if if it if it doesn't have any contact with the pcb track it won't work so i'm always i'm always checking the uh, pins after i soldered the uh, soldered the joints or something so like this we have to fix this one also after that, we can hope that the machine will work. So now we connected both FFC connectors here and I have FFC cable here. So let's check it out whether it will work or not. We can test the machine. We fixed everything and let's switch it on. Make sure every key is working and That's it for now and leave a comment if you have any questions and like and subscribe if you love the contents and we'll do something else in the next video. See you soon.